I'm going to be 100% honest with you. It's a little too hot to be ripping these apart. So what am I going to do today? How about taking what I've already done? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Maybe I should clean up the shop first before I take on anything else. A wise man once told me, don't you know how to make money and work hard? You'll never be poor. Well, this is how I make my money. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you see, we've been cleaning a bunch of air conditioners. Some of this stuff's been here for about three weeks now. I've kind of been hoarding and collecting it, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's too hot to be out here cleaning stuff. We're under a heat advisory again. You know, it's early in the morning, so I think I'm going to load this stuff up and make a trip. I got the ACR, copper aluminum fins. There's a whole bucket of electric motors. There's more electric motors here. I have brass, I have a couple batteries, I have some wire, I got about half a tote of number two copper, which is pretty heavy. I have some number one here, which I might just put in a smaller can, there's more ACR in there. So I'm going to make a trip, I got to, I might as well, by the time I load this up I'm going to be sweating like a pig, and then... I have some stainless steel, and I have three barrels. This one's not full, but I'm going to take a couple of these sealed units, these compressors, put them in there, run so they're not so heavy. But three barrels of, of sealed units is extremely heavy. And as you see in the beginning, there's still a bunch of stuff that has to be gone through. Air conditioners. I mean, I picked up four yet, or five, six... Seven yesterday alone. I just can't really keep up on them. You know, picked up a bunch of pots and pans, aluminum pots and pans and stuff. Got a couple handles to cut off. But aluminum piles getting bigger. Dirty aluminum piles getting bigger. Rotors, eh, about the same. I'm going to load this stuff up, guys. I got to get this big 80-gallon water heater out of here. I think it's massive. But, yeah, I'm going to load this stuff up and go to Stanton. It's too hot. Even in this shed, but the shed has a metal roof, it gets so brutally hot in here, guys. And I'll be honest with you, lately I just haven't really been feeling too, too hot working in the heat. I don't know if I'm getting fat, I'm getting old. I don't know, but we're going to load this stuff up, guys. Sorry, I'm looking away. I heard something over there. Ghost or something. <laughs> but, um, let's load up. Alright, guys. You're now going to witness me loading all this stuff up. Watch me sweat to death. It's nice having a lift gate because, and I've said this but multiple times, I really don't feel like picking this stuff up. I mean, I had to pick all those ACRs up. Throw a bunch in and then and now I didn't clean these. I don't really care. So 
some are clean, some are. You know, it's a 30 cent, 30 cents difference at my scrapyard. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Some of you guys have said that it's, you know, like a dollar a pound difference. Yeah, I would do it then. But I'm way too exhausted already. Like you can't see it, but it's only about 80, 85 degrees out. It's about seven o'clock in the morning already. Squish that one. And it's already humid and disgusting. Yesterday, me and my helper worked a load of stuff in, me and Xander. And then by 12 o'clock, we went out on the four-wheelers. And we were riding the four-wheelers, guys. And it was so hot and just so disgusting that you, even in the shade, you couldn't, you were just sweating profusely, even going 30 miles an hour. There was no relief driving the four-wheelers. None. It was terrible. Dude, my whole truck's gonna be full of these. I don't know how much more I'm able to fit it once I put all these in. I gotta get those field units in. So this I'm gonna be able to fit in. Oh man, I didn't realize I had that much. I should be able to get it, guys. You guys want to leave a comment on how much uh, you think I'm gonna make? As you see, I'm still. I don't know why this keeps doing that. Well, yeah, I don't know why it keeps doing that. This is going to be a decent payday here. Should be, should be decent. Took on part a lot of them lately. It's just the weather's been so hot. Just haven't been too, too uh, motivated, you know. Had to come in here after working all day, clean a couple things. And I had some help. We try to go to the scrapyard and pick some stuff up and then spend, you know, a few hours in here breaking some of these down. It's been terrible.
You always gotta wear gloves. These things are like razor blades. I don't even know that way it is. Oh man, I got a lot here. Thing is, that stuff doesn't pack worth the crap. easy. Be strong though. Usually when I film, I cut and I show you guys. This video, I'm going to let this whole video right now. So you can see how miserable it is loading stuff, sometimes loading this stuff. Which some of you guys know. You know what I don't show you guys the loading and stuff like that. A lot of you guys think it's easy. Which for the most part, it's not too terribly bad. I know these ones are heavy. These are from a big A coil. Like that's 45, 50 pounds each one. So right here is probably just in these two pieces, 160 bucks. Stack out that bag, guys. Whew. Even though I got these ones to fold, you know, usually when I cut the ends off these, I usually fold them up. You step on them. Make sure you guys can see that. You step on them, you can fold them up. This way they take less room. There's a lot of stuff I didn't get to cleaning, but I figured if I get rid of this stuff, I can put some money in my pocket. 
put some put some money in my pocket. Maybe when it cools down a little bit later in the year, I'm getting rid of another load. But like I said, it's only like three weeks worth. So it's not really a lot. We had that heat wave two weeks ago and the plumbing guys were going insane with all new installs and no problems. It was nuts, man. Alright guys, now we're going to deal with this. So... This is half full of electric motors. This one I cannot even move. It's absolutely insane how heavy this can is. Big boys in here too. And I know you guys are like, oh, I stripped them out. Man, I don't even have to, I don't even have the time or the motivation to even think about it. I can still kind of move that one. How's this? Oh my god. How heavy this can is. I bet yeah, I have 400,000 motors or more. Not that brutal. Alright, let's get this gate down. Now, if you guys are still watching the video, remember at the end of the video, guys, I will be showing you how much money I make today. We'll be showing you the payout. So some of you guys that know, know. But there's so many of you that just don't understand how much money you can make doing scrapping and you make the right connections and you actually put the work in. Look at this lift. space in this trailer or this truck today. Got a little spot here. Put some batteries here. Some batteries in that little spot. <sighs> Guys hurting already. Oh, man. Give me another head. 
everyone. Shooting this all one take, guys. That one I'm gonna not bring. This one I'm gonna put the tripod. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's a lot of work doing this stuff. Oh, I got brass here too. I don't have much because I didn't do a lot of the stuff that was a real pain in the butt. But I think I can pick this up and put that in there. Then I gotta get them sealed units in. I got a couple more fins. So, I think I'm gonna pull ahead and get these shield units in. Let me move the truck. Sorry guys, I had to move the truck ahead, so I had to pause the video. It's only been 30 seconds. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm still out here dying. I shouldn't have put so much in them. Gonna be able to pick this up now. <sighs> oh my god, is that freaking heavy? Don't believe me? Watch. <laughs> Freaking godly. Dude, it won't even slide. Hey, yeah, fucking slide out though, easy, you fucking ho bag. working out here in this shit.
now on the gate, we're gonna put, I'm gonna put that up in there. We got one more thing of steel units and a copper one. So let's get this copper one. Probably 150, 200 pounds. A little bit of stainless, not much. I got some number one. It's only like maybe 40, 50 pounds. I'll save that because I got more stuff to go through. Got a couple pieces of stainless like this. It's a nice piece of stainless. Hold on, I got another piece over here. Two pieces. Alright, I gotta pick this up so I can throw this up in there. strap around that guy so don't don't hate on me just yet this last one steel units is heavy holy christ freaking boob sweat oh this one's brutal oh yeah Make it a little lighter so I can move it. Ah, oh, she's spooging. This one's got all these small ones in it, so it's so freaking heavy. All right, I probably took out 100 pounds. water in it all right guys I have to I gotta get a bungee all right guys I just had to put a bungee on that
We're loaded. I'll put a strap to hold these guys on. I'll put a strap to hold these on. I need one across the top and one on the back. I won't show you guys that, but you'll see after. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's going to be our load. So we got number two copper, three barrels like this of sealed units. I'd say we have at least five, 650 pounds of sealed units. I'd say there's about 150 to 200 pounds in this can. Don't quote me on that. I hope it's 200 pounds. Uh, it's a lot of small air conditioning stuff that I was packing in there, you know, uh, uh, air dicking. And uh, I got a little bit of stainless steel, a couple flat plates and a garbage can with some pots and pans in it. The whole front of the truck is stacked up to the top of the boards, the headache rack of just ACRs. Oh, there's still some ACRs I got to grab. I'll tuck them in. But I have um, even more ACRs. They're dirty. I know you guys are going to kill me for that. I have two. I had one 50-gallon garbage can of elect dirty electric, but just electric motors. And um, I'm shaking. And I had about, about one third of a can. So I condensed them down to about half can each or maybe three quarters of a can. So I have two cans, three quarters full of electric motors. I got a small can of brass. I'd say there's probably about 70 or 80 pounds of brass. Uh, electric motors, weight wise, I would say there's, now mind you, I didn't weigh none of this. I would say I have 450 pounds, 400 to 450 pounds as a guesstimate. I had three or four batteries out of wheelchair, you know, jazzies. I'm trying to think of what else I put in there. That's pretty much it, guys. So if you want to put your guess in, put the timestamp in right whatever time this is right now in the video. Put your guess in and then rewatch the video because at the end we're gonna find out how much I make. I know it's gonna be a long video, but hey man, you sometimes I put out short videos, you guys watch three minutes of it. I put longer videos out, you watch fifteen minutes of it. I I, I try to figure out my audience, but as you see, we're out here working and sweating. Look at my back. Man, that was that was rough. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna throw this last little bit of stuff in there. And by the power of Movie G Magic, you're gonna see what we make. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn my air conditioning down for a minute so you can hear me good. I'm done. I'm at Stanton's here in Scranton. We had a decent load. Took a while to unload it. I really didn't realize how much I actually packed in the truck. I'm going to show you how much weight we had and what we got paid. All right, so as you see, we're at Stanton's Auto Recycling. There's the address. So, dirty ACRs. We had 682 pounds. They gave me $1.93 a pound, which is amazing. That was $1,300. <laughs> Junk fan motor was a well pump motor. They're not buying them as electric motors no more. Um, electric motors, I had 648 pounds, 42 cents a pound, uh, $272. Auto batteries, four batteries, 25 cents a pound was uh, $21. Yellow brass was that small can. There was 90 pounds in it, 246 a pound, and it was $218 in that little can. Low grade wire was like the wires you cut off the air conditioners and extension cords. Uh, 66 pounds, low grade, 60 cents a pound, less than 40 bucks. Stainless steel was that can, you know, 58 pounds, uh, 28 bucks. Sealed units. So those three cans of sealed units was 1,221 pounds. No wonder I couldn't move those things. And that was four, 34 cents a pound. It was $415 in those three cans from the compressors. And then number two copper, I had 170... 178 pounds gave me for number two. He gave me a hundred uh, three three ninety five a pound was seven hundred three dollars for a grand total of three thousand sixteen dollars. And this weight right here was all the metal I brought in. So I had three thousand pounds in the back of my truck, and this is my tear weight with my cans. So altogether, the weight I had in the back of my truck was almost four thousand pounds of weight, guys. But you could see. 
that's a good payday. So yeah, guys, end the week strong. And this ticket shows you that if you could hustle and get some work done, you can make some money. It's not always going to be like that. I notice there's a lot of other guys on the, on the forums and stuff, you know, that just do air conditioners and they make ten, twenty thousand dollars every week. I, I this, this is this is about an average week in the summer. I have some copper I didn't even bring in. There was some stuff I didn't even clean. If I did the other stuff, I easily would add five thousand dollars in the last two weeks. But I got more units I'll be picking up, and uh, I got a water heater pick up on the way home, guys. But yeah, scrapping is an adventure, guys. Don't give up the struggle, no matter how whatever happens. And I want to remind you guys again: hug your kids, visit your grandparents, because you never know when they might not be here. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going home and sit in front of the air conditioning. Peace.